God has given great wisdom to all mankind on how to run life, how to run families, how to run governments, how to have just courts and just laws in the Bible, and that the Bible is the owner's manual that comes with the machine, he certainly knows more than all of us put together what makes us run well and what would make a good society, what would make a prosperous, joyful, peaceful, orderly society. Well, we believe he's given us these laws in the Bible, principles and laws in the Bible, and we also can prove from looking at history that this already worked marvelously wherever they seriously attempted it. It worked in uh, Geneva, in Scotland, to a certain degree in England. It worked marvelously here in America in the 1600s and 1700s, and even into the early 1800s. Now, when saying that America did a great job in the 1600s, 1700s, early 1800s, I don't mean there were not problems. And it's not that we want to duplicate everything they did. We would want to very definitely eliminate slavery right from the beginning. It should have been done at the Constitution. And uh, we're sorry it didn't. It was our very bad mistake. And that's, there's no excuse for that. That needs to be repented of. But uh, compared with any other society in history, there has never been such freedom for blacks, whites, or women uh, in the world as we had here. The biblically thinking women and the biblically thinking blacks and Indians, uh, Chinese, Jews, anybody uh, that would be considered an ethnic group, or a, a, a group, a gender group. The clear thinking biblical people in those groups say the same thing. It's not the clear thinking biblical people in those groups who would have trouble with this.